gets away, man, you hang with them, amen. But I'm just glad to be here, and then I'm glad to celebrate with you all. Y'all look so wonderful. Uh, just glad to see everybody smile on faces. And so let's go into the word. I'm going to ask Evangelist Bailey if she would prepare to read for us. If you would grab your Bible, stand with us. Amen. As we go to the word. I'll be coming from 2 Kings, the 4th chapter, the 13th down to the 24th verse. And y'all got mighty quiet on me. I guess y'all tired from all that shouting. And amen, but it's all right. Amen. I'm, I'm just glad to be here. Can I tell y'all I'm just glad to be here? I thought my life was gone. I thought it was gone. 14 years ago, I thought my life was gone. As I began to run from when the plane hit the building, I was working with Secretary Rumsfeld at that time, and I, uh, we felt the impact of the plane hit the building. And it hit so hard, it knocked me out of my seat. And when it knocked me out of my seat, and I just remember them coming and saying, evacuate the building. Uh, I don't remember no flagpole. I don't remember where they told us to be. I was running for my life. As I was running down the hall, I tell everybody like it was yesterday because I still feel the heat of the smoke that was rumbling behind me. I felt stuff, you know, was touching my neck and the debris was hitting me that was hot and God spared my life. He spared, he spared, he spared my life. Oh, all I can think about is that how I got out of that, I had no clue, but I knew it was nothing but God's grace and God's mercy. And I ran so much, I was running, I, I really don't, I can't even begin to tell y'all if I had time to explain it. I ran so much that uh, I never remember stopping. I ran out the building, I ran to Macy's. When I got to Macy's, it was a second explosion. I ran again because they told us to get away from the uh, away from the mall. I was running so much. I said, well, if I get across this 14th Street Bridge by foot, it don't matter to me. I said, I'm gonna get on the other side. And as I was going to get on the, the, the get up, you know, on the little ramp part that two people in the car told me, get in the car with them. And I jumped in the car with them. And, he was smoking something, and I, I don't know, I got a buzz. I was all, I was high as cootie ground. By the time I got on the other side, and, you know, the Lord, you're going to spare me, but please don't start no addictions. And uh, so I jumped in the car, and I got in the car with them. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I don't know what these people, she just told me to get in the car. When that's let you know when you're drilling up, you just do whatever comes natural. I jumped in the car with them, and by the time we got, I don't know how we got across the bridge, felt like we was on two wheels, I don't know. We got across the bridge, when we got on the other side, the monument was swaying back and forth, and I knew something was wrong with me. I said, honey, just let me out right here, I'll be all right. And I remember running, and they, you know, didn't want you near the monument, didn't want you near the Capitol, so I ran again, I ended up at, at a Federal Triangle, and they said that if you can, I got there and I pushed my way through, but at any point, they said there's one more train coming through, and it's, you know, if you can get on the platform, whoever's on the platform, you know, you can get on this train, but we got to clear the platform out. And I had always complained all my life about being 411. But I promise y'all, I use my height for an advantage. Because I was ducking and diving. I was on a football move. I, was, I don't even know how I even got on the train. But all I know is that when I got to Capitol Heights, when I stepped out on the escalator, and as I began to come to the top, all I could think about is, God, I thank you for favor. Not knowing exactly what really happened, but when I began to think, about what the Lord had done for me. That's why when I come in God's house, I ain't got to beg y'all to praise him. Because I praise God all by myself. Hallelujah, because God's been too merciful to me for me to come in God's house and play the cute role and act like I don't have nothing to praise God for. I just had to get that out of my system because it's bubbling on the 
heaven. Amen. Second Kings, the fourth chapter, the thirteenth down through uh, the twenty-fourth verse. Amen. And it reads on this verse. And he said unto him, Say now unto her, Behold, thou hast been careful for us with all this care. What is to be done for thee? What is thou be spoken for to the king or to the captain of the host? And she answered, I dwell among mine own people. And he said, What then is to be done for her? And Jehazi answered, Verily, she hath no child, and her husband is old. And he said, Call her. And when he had called her, she stood at the door. And he said, About this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt embrace a son. Yes, yes. And she said, Name my Lord, thou man of God. Do not lie unto thine handmaid. And the woman conceived that bare a son at that season. And Elisha had said unto her, according to the time of life. And when the